So today in this lecture we are going to discuss the transmission of pressure pulses and damping of pressure pulses. In the last lecture we discussed that when the heart pumps the blood into the aorta and small arteries there is a difference between the pressure in the systole and the pressure in the diastole. When the heart is contracting in the systole and relaxing in the diastole the pressure generated in the vessels is a little bit different and that pressure was basically uh, shown with the help of a graph. Here we demonstrated that this is the pressure in the systole and that lower down it's the pressure in the diastole and the difference between these two was this known as the pulse pressure. Now the that pulse pressure which was generated in at the level of the aorta just at the level of the proximal portion of the aorta that is transmitted to the peripheral or the distal portions of the blood vessels that is known as the transmission of the pressure pulses and the intensity the intensity of these pressure pulses it basically decreases when it goes into the peripheral vessels and that that gradual decrease in its uh, intensity is known as damping of the pressure pulse now why there is why the pressure pulse basically uh, transferred to the, from the aorta to the distal portion of the blood vessels or the arteries and why the damping occurs so let's discuss that basically when the heart ejects the blood at first proximal portion of the aorta at first the proximal portion of the aorta becomes distended the proximal portion of the aorta becomes distended because inertia of blood prevents sudden blood movement inertia we define is basically the resistance to a change anything which uh, is moving it wants to move and anything which is not moving uh, or anything which is at rest wants to be at rest so the blood here is at rest and it wants to remain at rest it does not want to move further so when the heart pumps more blood the more blood also accumulates here due to the inertia due to, due to the inertia or the quality of the blood or quality of any substance to remain its status quo or remain its present position so initially due to the pumping of the heart the initial portion of the aorta becomes distended because of inertia if there would be no inertia there would be no distension of this portion rather there would be sudden movement of the blood into the uh, distal vessels or the peripheral portion of the blood vessels but rising pressure of the aorta rising pressure in this region due to pumping of the heart overcomes this inertia and wave front of distension spreads farther along the aorta this is called transmission of pressure pulse so simply transmission of pressure pulse is movement of this distension along the aorta why this distension in the first place occurs it's because of the inertia of the blood it's the it's the quality of the blood or the ability of the blood to resist the movement and remain at this site so the blood that is already already present here and the blood that is coming more more blood is coming from the ventricular contraction it all accumulate it all accumulates here and this in proximal portion of the aorta basically distends due to the inertia of the blood now the pressure is not constant and the pressure is basically increasing so when the pressure increases more it overcomes the inertia the pressure becomes more than inertia of the blood so gradually this distension this distension spreads along the aorta this is moving from this portion to this so initially this distension was here it is shown here and now it is moving here further and further along the aorta to the distal portion of the blood vessels and this movement is basically known as transmission of pressure pulse now this is the first portion of this uh, topic the transmission of pressure pulse and it's simply it's simply the movement of this pressure pulse along the aorta 
Now the velocity of the pressure pulse is low in the aorta but high in the small distal arteries due to the compliance. Compliance of the blood vessel, the compliance of the aorta is very much high. The aorta has the ability to distend. The aorta has the ability to distend so it is more compliant due to which the velocity of pressure pulse in this portion is very much high is low sorry the velocity is very much low so velocity of pressure pulse is low in the aorta but high in the small distal arteries due to compliance aorta is more compliant large arteries are more compliant so velocity is low because because of compliance uh, the vessels are distending and they are allowing more and more blood to accumulate so the blood is not moving uh, uh, farther away with high speed because of the compliance of the vessels but as this blood moves further and further into the small arteries those arteries arterioles are not very much compliant so the speed the blood uh, the, the the velocity of the pressure pulse basically the velocity of pressure pulse not the velocity of the blood it increases so in the aorta it's around 3 to 5 meter per second in the distal arteries it's around 7 to 10 meters per second and in the arterioles the velocity of this pressure pulse is around 15 to 30 meters per second it's because the compliance decreases Compliance here is high but compliance in the distal vessels is very much low so the velocity of the pressure pulse increases there. Now this is about the velocity of the pressure pulse. Velocity of pressure pulse. But if we talk about the velocity, velocity of blood, velocity of blood, then the velocity of pressure pulse is 15 times 15 times the velocity of blood flow because of little movement of the blood here the the velocity of the pressure pulse the the wave of the the pressure wave or the distension wave this the velocity of this wave is about 15 times the velocity of blood because this wave is moving this distension pressure wave is moving but the blood inside the aorta or the blood vessel is not moving that fast so the velocity of the pressure pulse is 15 times the velocity of the blood because of little movement of the blood blood is not moving that fast but the pressure pulse pressure or the wave of this pressure the wave of this distension it is moving very fast it is moving very fast but it is not moving the blood very much fast so the velocity is very much high as compared to the movement of blood in the blood vessels now the intensity of the pulsations becomes progressively smaller in arteries that is known as damping the intensity of pulsation becomes progressively smaller progressively smaller in arteries that is known as damping now initially the intensity of pulsation in the aorta is very much high and you can see the difference is around 40 mm of mercury if uh, which we discussed previously in the uh, last lecture that it's around 120 and it's here around 80 so the difference is around 40 mm of mercury but the blood flows into the femoral arteries this difference basically decreases in the femoral artery and it may come to around 30 then in the radial artery it decreases further it may come around 20 in the arteriole it comes around 20 and in the capillaries it this pulsation may completely disappear and the capillaries normally do not have any pulsation so the pulse is basically due to the distension of the blood vessel and that intensity of the distension of the blood vessel it basically decreases further and further into the blood vessels it's highest in the aorta it's highest into in the aorta it decreases in the distal arteries and the arterioles and finally there is almost no pulsation there is no pulsation the intensity has gone to zero at the capillaries level and this process is known as damping of the 
पल्स और डैम्पिंग ऑफ द प्रेशर पल्स दिस डैम्पिंग ऑफ द प्रेशर पल्स इज ऑल्सो ड्यू टू द रेजिस्टेंस एंड कंप्लायंस ऑफ द वेसल बिकॉज द ब्लड वेसल्स बिकॉज द ब्लड वेसल्स दे आर शोइंग रेजिस्टेंस दे आर शोइंग रेजिस्टेंस सो दे आर they are not allowing easy movement of this distension to move further this resistance here is not allowing the movement of this distension easily so the intensity of this distension basically decreases the intensity basically decreases and the other factor is the compliance now the compliance means that the accumulation of blood it is resisting the blood the forward movement of blood as well as it is allowing the blood to accumulate here it is allowing the blood to accumulate here and it is resisting its forward movement so these two factors the resistance and the compliance of the vessel lead to damping of the pressure pulse and its the intensity is highest in the aorta and it decreases in the distal artery and it diminishes to zero level in the capillary capillary levels so that's all about the transmission of pressure pulse and damping of pressure pulse the transmission of pressure pulse is just the movement of this pressure wave along the blood vessels and damping of pressure pulse is basically decrease in the intensity of this pressure pulse along the blood vessels thanks a lot for watching the video